going on guys welcome back to my channel it's about ac20 i'm bringing you guys another video guys today we are reacting to connor irl he dropped the video last time i looked at this i want to say two weeks ago uh the video is saying robot chooses way for 24 hours i'm curious to see what the robot's gonna make him eat pretty much and before we get into it make sure you guys can like subscribe and vlog to me and let's just hop into it you guys and that guy's unloading much food i saw him unload orange juice that's been sitting out in the sun for 20 minutes so or hot what the heck why is that so hot Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna like spread it open here. Oh my gosh, dude, this looks terrible. Oh my gosh. Wow, those are some really cool intro clips. Thanks, Connor. <laughs> How you guys doing? Well okay, so before we get started, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like, I always have those moments to you guys when you put like the best clips or the funniest clips in your videos in the very beginning because you want people to want to stay and watch the video longer. So I get what he's saying. That's always funny though. Welcome to my vlog. My name is Connor and today we are uh, doing something a little bit interesting. So I found an app on my phone called Restaurant Roulette and essentially what it does it allows a uh, perimeter around you or you can do it by zip code, by where your location is and essentially a robot will pick out what restaurant you have to get food from. So that's what we're doing today. A robot is going to be picking everything that we're eating for 24 hours. And we're starting at 12.51 p.m. on a Tuesday. That's absolutely right. So we're going to go all the way until tomorrow at lunch and let the robot decide exactly what we're going to be eating. Well, not exactly what we're going to be eating, but where we're going to be eating, rather. Before we get started, make sure you guys stick to the very, very end where we will be announcing our member spotlight for this episode. Me, Editor X. Oh my god, bro, mate. Oh god, bro. You hit me with this ad, Connor? Bro, we ain't got time for this, man. The website Shoot. design platform. I, I appreciate the skip ad, though. So, Thank you. And if you want it to be you in one of these episodes, click that join button down below and make sure you guys are subscribed and it'll all sync up and you'll have a chance to become one of those people in that beautiful member spotlight. Alrighty, so let's give this bad boy a spin and see exactly where our first restaurant is going to be from. So I did five miles in distance from me and i've done more of a cheap range uh just because i'm trying to do you guys feel like it's gonna be like a siri thing like siri decide where i eat siri pick a place where i should eat at technically like you know i'm pretty sure you guys seen videos like that all the time pretty much so i wonder if this is gonna be like kind of like the same thing technically but instead of being siri like actual robot like he said to uh stay within like a certain budget all right let's see what our first spin is we got S Wendy's oh I mm. <laughs> if you guys know me I'm a sucker for some Wendy's okay all right I'm down for that I could do some Wendy's maybe get a little spicy little chicken sandy oh man oh it just re reminds me of the times that Paul and I used to go get chicken sandies I miss that guy so the thing is is that wherever I have to go to I'm getting something wait he may seem like I, I miss Paul, so I wonder. I wonder if they're not on speaking terms anymore. Pretty much, I mean, I don't know. Well, I, I'm just curious. He just said I missed a guy. I'm pretty sure they still keep in touch, but m maybe they don't. So who knows? For Shauna, and I don't necessarily think that she likes Wendy's, so I'm gonna text her because she's at an appointment right now. I'm gonna text her and see if she actually wants anything or not. And then we're gonna go get some Wendy's. And the good thing is, is they have drive through so that way you guys can see everything that I'm doing. All right, can I get uh, uh, number six, please, with no tomatoes, no lettuce? Is that come with pickles? All right, well, there we go. Food has been ordered. This I've been in line for like 20 minutes now. Like, I did not expect this place to have a line. And that guy's unloading much food. I saw him unload orange juice that's been sitting out in the sun for 20 minutes. Ew. So I, I'm never getting <laughs> orange juice from my knees. That's <laughs> gross, Thank bro. You. Ew. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Let's uh, let's go park and let's go eat and then wait for Shauna because she doesn't like Wendy's, so I didn't get her anything. I'm gonna wait for her to to be ready for food and then I'm just gonna get her some stuff. So let's go let's go park and wait by her appointment place. Okay, so I'm sorry if the last couple of clips were a little overexposed and I spilled Sprite on myself, so that's a little upsetting. But let's rip into this food here. I had a couple fries on the way here. They're a little soft. I normally like them a little bit more crispy than like this but they're not bad though, not bad. I just love Winnie's fries because I, I think their salt is really good. They have like a really, really good salt. All right, so the next thing, the thing that we got, the thing that I'm most excited about, the thing that I am the most excited about, a little backfire right there, is the Wendy's chicken sandwich. 
this is it's not like the best chicken sandwich in the world but it's got a lot of memories behind it it's got a lot of like uh just like good vibes behind their their chicken sandwich and it's honestly pretty good it's pretty tasty it's not like the best one in the world but like if you're in a pinch and you want a chicken sandwich it's really good Paul and I used to get these all the time when we worked at a unnamed studio, but we used to get them all the time. Oh, bro, you guys know it. If you, uh, all I'm gonna say is, if you guys know, you guys know. That's all I'm gonna say. If you guys know what he's talking about, then you know. Time for lunch, and it was it was like a bad phase. I think we went like five days in a row at one point, like where we would we would get this, come back, and either play League of Legends or like a match of World of Work, or like we would play like some World of Warcraft. And dude, honestly, like it's kind of hot. The bread on the bottom is a little soft, but it's like pretty good. Let's take a bite really quick. Mmm, still hits, still hits different. <laughs> oh, hot! What the heck? Why is that so hot? Oh my god. <laughs> Did they start putting ghost peppers on the chicken sandwich? Oh my god. Why is it hot? So I'm gonna eat the rest of this chicken sandwich. For dinner tonight, I think I'm gonna go through that list that the, the app has and do specific restaurants. Because like there was a couple uh times during my practice runs where I was getting like um like a place on a on a college campus that like I can't go get food there. So I need I need, I think I need to go through and kind of like dial in the list a little bit more and make it a little bit better better and more fine-tuned to what was there but I'm, I'm stoked i'm stoked it's gonna be gonna be delicious the thing is, is i have my hockey game tonight too which i'm a little bit nervous about but i'm gonna finish eating i'll see you guys at dinner time Alrighty, so it is actually the next day um i had my game last night at like a really weird time of like 7 30 and for me to travel from here to the actual place where i play hockey it's like a weird time gap so i actually didn't even eat dinner last night i had like a protein shake before i went and played and that was about it but it's it's 12 o'clock it's 12 o'clock on on wednesday the next day um i didn't have any breakfast today haven't i've had a cup of water that is all i've had but i've been super busy prepping our podcast for release if you guys don't know we do a podcast it's a spark creative podcast all the links to that stuff is down description below go check it out it's me and my beautiful fiance shauna we talk about amazing topics super fun things but Okay, so, so far, what I've learned pretty much is, like, this type of challenge is kind of interesting because, obviously, most people who do this challenge, they do the whole Siri thing or they do the the, the, the person in front of you, you take what they order. So, this is very, I've never seen a robot. So, like I said, so, so far, all he had was Wendy. So, I guess let's just see what else he gets technically on this video. We're about, we're five minutes, about a little bit close to six minutes into his video. So, five minutes left to go, pretty much. But it's time that we spin for our lunch. We need to figure out what we're gonna have for lunch today. I'm really hoping it's gonna be something good. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that Wendy's yesterday, it hurt my stomach. Like I was feeling nauseous for a while. Maybe that's why I didn't eat dinner too, but like I was legitimately nauseous after I ate that. And it kind of made me a little upset because like I trusted those chicken sandwiches, man. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and give this bad boy spin on our app here. Tap the spin. I, I gotta wait for the ad to go away before it'll actually spin. Oh, and I dropped my phone. Oh, crap. What did we get? What did we get? What did we spin to? We got Chipotle. Okay. I can do Chipotle. That actually sounds really good. I wonder I wonder if this robot Connor's using is a robot, like, that's going to give you, like, pretty much, you know, pretty much basic, basic fast food places. It's not going to be, like, no hole-in-the-wall places. Like, places are, like... You know, like I said, he just had Wendy's. Now he has Chipotle. For all we know, he could probably get like McDonald's or Burger King, Jack in the Box. You know, places like that are very common places. You know what I'm saying? I know random hole in the wall that no one knows about. So we'll see. Ruta Bowl actually sounds really, really tasty. And I think Shauna would, Shauna's actually going to want Chipotle too. So I'm going to go ahead and place an order over there for pickup. And then we're gonna, well, I'm going to bring that back and hopefully that's good. I did Chipotle on a last challenge too, the vegan one. I think the vegan one I did Chipotle as well. Let's let's uh, let's go grab some of this food. All righty, so we are headed to Chipotle right now. I am driving. I'm hoping the camera isn't super shaky or anything like that. But uh, it's not. You're, you're pretty good, mate. You're good. I ended up getting a, a set of tacos. I've never had their tacos at Chipotle before, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Chipotle has and tacos? And Shauna got her Rita Bowl. She gets, like, chicken and rice and beans, and, like, she basically gets the whole nine yards. I got a bunch of stuff on my tacos, too, because in my brain, I was like, oh, it's a burrito. I'm going to get everything on it. But I think I may have just accidentally overloaded all of my tacos, so I'm a little nervous about what they're going to look like. I legit walked in there, and I was like... Like, why isn't anybody wearing masks? And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. The county I'm in just lifted 
mask mandates for indoor businesses. It threw me off. I was like, why am I the only person wearing a mask? I completely forgot. Hey, to be fair though, mate, they they I think they lifted it. They lifted also in my county too as well, pretty much. So yeah, that's so you're not alone. But I'm when you're on the internet. So first things we got, by the way, uh, I ordered um, chips and guac from Chipotle. You, I feel like if you go to Chipotle, you don't get chips and guac. You're not living your life. It's always so good. It's, their chips are always just so delicious. Connor's tacos. They smashed them into a burrito thing. Did did they? Is that what just happened right now? I feel cold sour cream on my fingies right now. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, they actually they put them all into one giant tinfoil thing. Oh, come on, bro. Why would you guys do that? Give me like a plate or something. Like, look at that mess. I can't even eat this until I get home. Oh, bro, that, that does not look good. I'm sorry. You guys let me know if that looks good or not. You guys let me know if you guys actually eat that. Honestly speaking, I mean, I would probably eat if I'm super hungry, but this first impression, it doesn't look the best. I was hoping to eat this in the car, but I mean, I could try. I'm just gonna. It just like, looks messy. That's all. Oh my gosh, dude, this looks. It terrible. probably still tastes good. Terrible presentation, Chipotle. Yeah. You guys need to create a plate or something. Let's eat this taco. Let's see how this taco is. So the thing that I like about tacos more than a burrito is how everything kind of just holds itself together. I feel like sometimes when you're eating a burrito, especially from Chipotle, like the Chipotle burritos kind of just like fall apart. In this case, that's not necessary. That doesn't necessarily happen. They're kind of all just there. And it tastes really good. And I'm honestly pretty stoked that I was able to get this. The one thing I do regret about this challenge is not having uh, dinner last night and not having breakfast this morning. So I'm literally, I literally have a giant gap of an area where I didn't eat food. One, that's not healthy. <laughs> and two, I feel like that's like content that's like missing from the vlog that I want to give you guys. So honest. Facts. I, I, get, I get what you're saying, dude. I understand. It is what it is, though. I'm super happy with the results of everything that came out. I got Wendy's yesterday, gave me a stomach ache, kind of wanted to die a little bit. And then I got some Chipotle today, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crush this, go home, make sure Shauna gets her burrito bowl. And I got chips and guac, and I'm so excited to eat that stuff. But I'm also super excited to announce who's gonna be this episode's member spotlight. And that actually goes out to Sky. Thank you so much for Okay, we're gonna okay, we're gonna fast forward this part. You know, we, 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 is this like this the rest of it or are these all sorts of stuff, including a chance to become what is description it? below. Last time that I did a food challenge here, a video to recommend specifically for you. We just gotta subscribe. Okay, so yeah, pretty much, yeah. So that's pretty much the rest of it, you guys. So uh, I guess that's pretty much it. That is Connor's um, challenge, the robot choose what I eat for twenty four hours challenge. Um. I'm not gonna lie, it's, I don't know, I, I, I realistically, I don't know if, if it's like, in my opinion, like I said, I think I don't know if the robot picks like generally places or they pick stuff for you, honestly, uh, but I thought it was a pretty good video, uh, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, which I love creating for you, I make sure you guys tell me a little bit, hit that subscribe button, like the video, also, like I said, shout out to Connor, his video and everything, like I said, link will be in the description, the original video, you guys can go check out for you guys self, uh, but I had a great time watching it, if you guys want to share your family and friends, you can lot to me as well. As I said, you guys, take care. It's your boy Z20. I'm out, you guys. Peace.